hey guys welcome back to my channel I'm back with a new video today and today's video is going to be the ipsy unbagging um, video I got my little pink baggie here I know I missed November's bag unbagging video but let me tell you you guys did not miss out on a lot I have been fairly disappointed with the ipsy glam bags that I have been receiving um November is just let me tell you really quick about November. I was really excited about November's Ipsy bag. I was like waiting for it every day, like, oh, you know, hoping it would get here really soon because I really feel like they hyped it up so much on Instagram. And every day they they post, they would post up a sneak peek on the products. So I would see products like, oh, I hope I get this one in my, in my Ipsy bag. And when mine arrives, the products that I got were just nothing to what I even expected. It was just terrible. I did not like it. I did not I did not choose to not film it because I didn't like it. I just didn't have the time and by the time I had time to film, it was already too late, so I just figured I would wait for December's. But let me tell you, I am not so happy with this one either. I didn't really look at the sneak peek, so I didn't really have an idea as to what um was going to come in the bag. But I didn't like it. Yes, I know I like cheated already and I opened it up because I was hoping this one would be much better. But honestly, you guys, I did not like it. But I wanted to share it with you guys. You guys can see the products that I got. It was an okay bag, you know, but let me just show you guys and you guys can see. So let's get started and show you guys. So um, pretty much the theme of the year is just pretty much like always in December thanking you for another year of, you know, being with Ipsy. So it just says thank you for an amazing 2015 you don't know with the little donut it has like little emojis how much your love means to us you've helped us make us who we are today for that we are forget forever grateful with love from ipsy so that's pretty much you know the theme just you know thanking you um this is the bag i don't know, like it it looks like a taco i don't know i just i seen the bag this i did see on i guess supposed to be lips I did see this bag on Instagram, um, and I thought it was going to be much cuter, but once I got it, it's like so tiny, it looks like a taco, like a folded taco, hard shell taco, I just did not like it, but this is the bag, it's red, so it's like really holiday ready, and let me just share with you guys what it came with, so the first thing that, one of this is actually the first thing I pulled out when I opened it, and it is the this intensive repair hand cream, I really do not like their hand creams, like, Every time they send their hand creams, they're just like, they have like this really uh, flowery scent. I don't know. I'm not huge on those kind of scents. And I don't know. I just did not, when I seen it, I was like, really another hand cream? Like, I get so many hand creams almost in every other bag I get hand cream. So I was just like, ugh, just another hand cream, you know, toss it to the side because I just that's not really what I want you know I want makeup the second product I was a little bit more uh, happy for it is the a beauty blender so there's a beauty blender in there and it is by the it says it's a Ricky care 3d blender um, and it is to fit the contours of the face and it's 100% latex free um, so pretty much it's a beauty blender which I mean you can never have too many of those because I'm always I do use the beauty blenders to blend out you know my concealer and foundation and all that good stuff so this one was like I wasn't I was like okay cool you know beauty blender that's cool I was hoping the bag would get better but honestly it doesn't really get much better uh, the next product it is this eyeshadow trio by Peony it's a botanical I guess type of brand this is the tiny eyeshadow palette. I mean, I know they send uh, sample sizes on Ipsy, but come on, this looks like you know those, you know, I excuse me, those like eyeshadows you you know for like a little girl to play with. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just, it's so so tiny. Like, I don't. Know. I mean, the colors are nice. Let me share with you guys the colors. These are the colors. So. I did really like this shimmery gold right here, which I probably will be using for the hol like to create a holiday look. And you know, it's more of like those neutral, warm colors. But I mean, I don't know. I just I liked it. I like the colors. You know, they're not that bad. But I guess this is the only color that kind of makes me like happy to have because the rest I pretty much already own. 
and just look at this it really i don't know i just looks like a little mint holder it is an eye primer eyeshadow primer and it is by the brand elizabeth mott and it is the thank me later eyeshadow primer i've never really tried any products from this brand so i can't really say you know this is a really good eyeshadow primer you know i love it how it works so you know if it really does work great then you know i'll be thankful for this eyeshadow primer otherwise you know i'm gonna be like the hand cream and just tossing it to the side i'm being such a negative nancy right now but i have been hoping for a really good ipsy bag you know and i believe october's i don't know if i did film october's but i believe october's was like really good and it was starting to get better already my bags were getting better and then november comes around and it just it was an epic fail and then this one comes and i was just like come on really like this is how i'm ending off my year with this bag you know i just i didn't really like it the last product which is a good one you know i kind of was happy just like the beauty blender was a cool product and it is this uh lipstick by pacifica and it is 100 percent vegan the lipstick so cruelty free and all that good stuff and it is in the shade tender heart tender heart um and this is what the shade looks like let me show you guys so this is the packaging which is pretty cute and it has little hearts everywhere I don't know if it's because it's called Tender Heart, so it has hearts everywhere. But this is what it is, and it's, I guess it's their new line, Power of Love. Power of Love, and then, um, and it's a powerful color, natural lipstick, and this is what the color looks like. So it's like a dark, like a deep, like, mauvey, mauvey, however, I have trouble saying that word all the time, with like a brown kind of undertone it's really nice let me go ahead and just swatch it so we can see what the color is because i don't even know it's actually really nice it's like a everyday natural kind of color shade that you can wear so it's pretty nice i'm not complaining about this so this and the beauty blender were my favorites from the ipsy black from the december ipsy glam bag other than that, I just wasn't too fond of the bag. But that is all of the products that came in my December Ipsy Glam bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I was being such a pessimist, but I was just sharing with you guys, you know, what I felt. I was just thinking out loud because I actually just received my glam bag today. And I was like, you know what, I'm just going to film it. I was excited and then I opened it because I was like, you know, hoping it was a good one. And I'm like, you know, I'm just going to let them know. Just let them know how disappointed i was so ipsy come on for january you know send me a really good bag because i'm in need of one the past two haven't been all that so come on come on now step up your game for my bags but i hope you guys you know nonetheless enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already give me a big of thumbs up if you want to keep seeing these ipsy bags and like these videos don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up i don't know if i just said that or not i'm just like rambling here and it's a disappointed ramble i don't know but um don't forget also follow me on my instagram at fashionista in the city underscore follow me on my fashion blog fashionista in the city .com. keep up with those looks i'm bringing as many as i can guys but you know, just bear with me. I will continue doing my looks as often as possible. You guys know how much I love my fashion. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I know I've said that already, but I cannot... I can never get enough, you know? Like, let's just keep on coming and make this channel just grow. And let's share fashion, beauty, and everything, you know, together. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.